Here come the West Indies openers. Chris Gale to the left and uh, Sunarain uh, Chadagoon, both left-handers. Punched away by Gale down the ground. There's no mid-off and that goes for four. Stands up straight. So West Indies underway. Way to start. Back foot, no movement from O'Brien. And a very good cricket shot. Powerful. And here's Mills now. And Gale has hoiked it. Huge hit. Into the stand, short. Gone again. Short again. In position very quickly, this time four. Oh, whack. Whack. My goodness, that's a fantastic cricket shot. That got, I thought that got too tall for Chris Gale, if that's possible. And he's belted that. It's deep in the foundations where they've been digging for dinosaurs. And Gale bangs it away down the ground for four. A fine straight drive by Gale. Oh, lovely bowling day. Nice shot. Very good shot. Finds what was not much of a gap between short extra cover and mid-off and races away for four. Oh, well done. There goes Gale to raise his 50 with a big hit. So it is a big one. All the way for Chris Gale, the captain. It's going to be a very significant innings from him today. West Indies looking to build a lead, 85 for two, Gale 50. There goes Gale, that's a huge hit. That's out of here. Bye-bye. That's over us. It's cleared us in the commentary box. By yards. Meters even. <laughs> Lovely stroke. Beautifully played. No uh, worries about that getting to the boundary. Magnificent straight drive. He's had uh, one of those earlier, just slightly overpitched. And he chips into it and hits it right back past the bowler. It is such a good shot. Oh, there he goes, day, and uh, he just manages to tuck it away from the long on fielder. He's gone for another six for Gale, but he didn't quite hit this one with the certainty that he did the earlier ones. It looked a little bit uh, like if he was, well, we've had enough of this now, and he was after him. Well, it was slower. He wasn't there. It wasn't quite at the pitch of the ball. He fetched it. You can see he just fetched it. He just decided, I'll go through with it anyway. More like that through extra cover, which is a magnificent shot to get him into the 90s. I mean, just that was superb. Or anything strange happening. Well, this time it's Nash onto the front foot and cover drives beautifully through the gap. So nine runs off the first over, a statement from the West Indies. Like that. And he does. He does it effectively, and it will run away for four. It's too short. Now, great, no, no, oh, great fielding again. Chichit Patel's probably saved seven runs since lunch. And he says athleticism to throw the stumps down. Oh, he's got it put through now. He's waited a long time. He's been on 91 for a long time in the 90s, and he couldn't be. Jeetan Patel at mid-off previously, but he's hit that straight down the ground and got a boundary for it. Good shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Oh dear, oh, he's going to be run out, no. Miss Field, he'll get his 100, there it is. <laughs> it's a wonderful moment for him, but just for a split second, there would have been a horrible scare as he was sent back, but he's now through. There it is, eight test hundreds for the West Indies. A lot left in this partnership. Oh, there's four more left there, that's for sure.
Tuzi and maybe Forzi. And it is Forzi. So a boundary to Gale. Straight drive as uh, Ian Smith has pointed out. Shots down the ground have been hit very hard indeed. Oh. And again, this time it's uh, gone through mid-wicket. He chases to his left, the same fielder, Mark Galkin, can't get that either. So uh, a brace of boundaries, and it might hurry Vittori's thinking up in terms of what he's going to do here. Two. Pulled away, and that'll be four. Too short, Vittori. And Gail perhaps sensing that he's got to now do the scoring himself now that Nash is gone. 124 now to the skipper. Gale on strike. Oh, nice stroke. Off the back foot. There's a bit of Clive Lloyd in that. <laughs> oh. yeah. Play it again, Sam. That is an exceptionally brilliant cricket shot for the purist. I mean, you just don't get a better shot for mine. Off the back foot. Stand tall and hit it straight back past the bowler. On the rise. Along the straight into the pitch. Straight into the surface of the pitch, it makes pace off there and it's gone. And Ross Taylor's quick. He's very quick at mid-on, but he had no... There goes Gale. He has hoisted it. Another six for the left-hander. He came after him and with great certainty deposited the ball between mid-wicket and mid-on, or long-on, I should say, beyond the bump. Ali. He'll take the single. Chris Gale moves to 150. Still not quite halfway towards his uh, highest test score of 317. That's a blow. That is a tremendous blow by Edwards. And it's almost as if to say, take that. He's got that through, threaded it between extra cover and mid-off. He's played that shot really well, drove superbly down the ground yesterday. And that's a boundary of authority. And he's hit that uh, with mighty authority. Too short. Tried to follow the previous one with another one of similar viciousness and uh, Gale was the measure of it. 164 now. Three fours in the over. Four fours in the over to Gale. A bouncer that uh, had him flinching. And uh, four fours in the over carried the West Indies. 247 ahead. 311 for seven. Field up. Oh, good stroke. Lovely shot. Since the guy was keen to. Uh, look for a boundary and good on uh, Daniel Vittori bringing the field up too he realises he's got to get Gale out as, as much as anyone it was just a bit flat and uh, Gale lent on that beautifully lovely stroke through the offside glorious stroke back foot this time same place same result this man is on fire. Chris Gale is playing a true captain's knock right here. It's 3.23 for seven. And uh, he's been greeted by Gale with a typical Gale, Gale shot. Hammered straight down the ground. again short this time back he goes and hammers it for six number seven they're enjoying it in there no wonder a uh, full in short from Franklin both at 124 K's a very good batting strip and put away by Chris Gale Well, that's a, a shock, really. 
He never looked as if he was going to go. And he falls three short of a double hundred. Patel gets the wicket. Uh, Gail getting on under the edge, trying to pull the ball away, off the pad, lobbed up, and McCallum took it. Well, a shame for Chris Gale, but he's done a fantastic job for his team. Really has played magnificently well. I haven't seen him try and hit the ball on the leg side through that position at all throughout this innings. Very rarely, if any. Standing ovation as he comes back, and deserving as well.